Hi everyone, this is Dan and this is Love Hina Volume 1 by uh, Ken Akamatsu. And uh, yeah, this is the third part in my series of going back and reading manga that I read uh, when I was in high school and uh, reading them now and seeing what I think of them. And uh, here's the story with Love Hina. So uh, obviously this is a uh, comedy genre. Uh, in this case, I think kind of a specific sort of... Uh, uh, you see, I mean, I guess my mind is always would be kind of, you know, dirty humor, um, you know, sexual comedy. Uh, not exactly necessarily that there is explicit content going on. There's just a lot of uh, sexual themed dirty jokes. <laughs> but when I was in high school, I wasn't a huge fan of Love Hina. Uh, I did find it funny. And I got why people liked it. I just it wasn't my thing in high school. I wanted kind of I love very action oriented, uh, very shonen stuff. I was very much uh, into, you know, shonen shonen series like uh, Roni Kenshin, Naruto, uh, One Piece, Berserk. That or Berserk is technically seinen, but uh, more more adult. But this uh, series right here never really uh, clung to me. I did read the whole thing, and I thought it was funny and enjoyable. Uh, I just wasn't really into it. And uh, jumping into it right now, uh, I think what struck me the most when I got back into it is I had kind of forgotten how pervy it was. <laughs> so the story's about this guy uh, right here, uh, uh, Keitaro, and uh, he kind of uh, ran into a girl when he was uh, growing up. Uh, and they had sort of this weird sort of childish dream, uh, you know, if we both go to uh, Tokyo U which I'm going to assume is uh, the major university in Tokyo, uh, you know, that, you know, we could live happily ever after, after some sort of romance sort of thing. And uh, that kind of drives him forward to, you know, uh, study hard. And, you know, years later, he's attempting to get into uh, college. So kind of interesting. Uh, a love Hina really, you kind of have to have a little more understanding of Japanese culture and how they work in order for this book to really work for you because effectively uh, it, it uses a lot of, there's a lot of cultural commentary going on in the background and in, in uh, Love Hina that you kind of have to understand uh, one of it is the concept of a ronin, not the ronin that you would think in like movies or samurai but one that is used in this term for people who don't get into college or they don't make it into uh, they don't pass the college uh, exam that I guess Japan has going on uh, so anyway, he ends up uh, not getting along with his parents, decides to visit his grandma who owns a house out in the mountains or something, and uh, in the middle of all that, it's, uh, you know, runs into a bunch of girls, a lot of pervy stuff going on here. <laughs> it is, it is, uh, it is real, there's a lot of funny uh, situations, a lot of situational humor. Uh, this whole book is just a lot of like... I wouldn't say it's like like grade school, but almost like innocent sexual jokes in a way. Uh, you know, this this doesn't get super deep. It, it's very uh, modest, I guess, is the way to describe the 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 intent of the jokes. Uh, but yeah, I think what what I found, I I think I know why I didn't like it when I was growing up, and that is a lot of things seem to happen for the sake of creating jokes. And it's not that I don't, I, I would say that's objectively bad. It's not. If your goal is, in fact, comedy, uh, you know, kind of just making up stuff as we go just to get the uh, to get the laughs in, you know, is perfectly fine. Though I think that's kind of why people have a low opinion of comedy when it comes to, like, art form. Uh, I will say, though, I did enjoy rereading this uh, just because I did think it was funny. There... I would I say you know what I recommend it to people Ooh, I mean it kind of depends on their personality right uh, I think if you're a very prudish person this might well I mean it might actually I guess it depends on what kind of prudish person it was uh, if you're a weeb obviously you should you should read Love Hina it's freaking great uh, if you're into uh, Japanese manga anime and their culture uh, for regular Joes or normies I don't know I mean I think uh, what would probably work for, for regular people is if they adapted it a little better to whatever the culture is, 
you know, that, that you're from, right? Like, I could imagine you could Americanize Love Hina since so much of the the plot here kind of revolves around things that are kind of unique to Japan. Uh, but the concept isn't isn't necessarily uh, something that only works in Japan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't think my opinions really changed. I still I still would say I don't really I'm not really into it. Uh, did I enjoy reading it? Yeah, would I recommend it to people? Not really. You know, it, it's still not really my thing. Uh, but going back on it and looking at it, I kind of uh, wouldn't say like respect it. It's just, you know, once again, kind of reaffirm my understanding of this series and why people like it. Uh, anyhow, that's it real quick and fast. Uh, this isn't really my genre, so I wanted to kind of go about it real quick. Uh, if you do like manga and dirty humor, uh, or I guess dirty situational comedy, uh, this would be a great book for you if you've never read it. This is sort of a classic, so imagine for most uh, manga fans, they've probably already read this one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, if you have any comments on Love Hina or any other type of manga like this, go ahead and drop it down below and, uh, I will see you next time.